Alrighty guys, today we will be taking a look at the Sturm. This hand cannon is one of the original exotic weapons from the release of Destiny 2. And it's best known uh, for its pairing with the legendary sidearm Drang, as you can tell. Storm and Stress kills with Drang, over reload this weapon and overflow a bonus damage round into the magazine. However, today uh, we'll be using it just by itself because with its catalyst, it has stats that are really hard to rival in the kinetic slot and really only something like the Adept Igneous Hammer can match it. The Exotic Catalyst boost, its stats really high and it feels great to use all on its own. It's super consistent feeling with uh, the super high handling for a 120 of 70, plus really, really high range of 90, as well as respectable stability in 51. You get, also get 12 rounds in the mag, 100 recoil direction, so it just feels super consistent, even if you're just using it by itself. Uh, I honestly took a huge uh, break from the game for a few months there just because of some life stuff as well as in general just kind of being burned out with the meta as it was although the uh, pushing of checkmate into more of a main stage in pvp has definitely brought me back and with the holiday time i had some extra time so i figured i'd throw together some uh videos as well as some gameplay and got a few decent gameplay matches in Checkmate control with the Sturm, and it felt way better than I was expecting it to. So here's the video. We are going to be rocking the OG uh, Arc Strider Hunter look with the Twisting Echo Cloak that they dropped in Iron Banner a few weeks ago. Um, I'm also using the Stompies after they kind of got buffed slash nerfed. You lost a little bit of the speed that you could get when you're ceiling surfing. However, you don't need to have your dodge up in order to have the sprint, slide, and jump buffs. We are pairing it with another OG. This is the Mind Mender's Ambition Adept. I have Threat Detector, Fragile Focus, Accurize, Smoothbore, Stability Masterwork, unfortunately, but we have Adept Handling. Pairing that with a Typhon GL5, although I don't think I really used any heavy in the videos that I'll be showing, showing to you guys. We are rocking the flow state in lethal current aspects, along with Spark of Focus to get our dodge back. The Spark of Recharge to, again, get our abilities back a little bit more because the entire thing with Checkmate is the ability economy is drastically reduced. Finally, Spark of Shock so that we get a little bit of jolt and spark of feedback so if i take take get meleeed i can uh, potentially two melee instead of three melee them in checkmate rocking that with the arc staff so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you guys after the vid take those zones and hold them to your last breath Enemy claimed zone C. has zone advantage. B, no. 
enemy has zone advantage. You have advantage. Zone C lost. Enemy has advantage. Zone B captured. You have advantage. Zone B, you have zone advantage. Zone A lost. Enemy has advantage. Two for one. Zone C captured. You have zone advantage. Together. Nothing. You captured Zone A. You have advantage. Don't see lost. Enemy down. The enemy's almost won. That's a power play. You took them, now hold them. Five minutes. Don't see long. Down. What can stop you if you fight together? 
That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. No, not this time. Controlling those zones is the only path to victory. I know you can fight, but can you hold territory? Enemy claimed zone C. Captured zone A. Enemy claimed zone B. They have advantage. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Zone B lost. Enemy has advantage. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. Zone advantage. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Zone A lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Zone advance. Zone B lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Shut them 
have advantage. Zone C lost. They have advantage. Zone C captured. You have zone advantage. Zone B lost. Enemy has zone advantage. You have advantage. Don't see lost. Guardian. Excellent. You have zone advantage. Zone C lost. Enemy has advantage. Zone advantage is yours. Advantage is yours. <laughs> Power play. Keep the pressure on. A well fought victory. <laughs> you could give the Red Jacks a lesson in territory control. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. As you can tell, um, the time that I took off from the game definitely shows my aim was super shaky for some of those matches. And yeah, like I was just missing hand cannon shots. My recoil control is all wonky. My movement's wonky. The amount of times that I slid failed in my playing session over the past few days is really kind of insane. Um, but it feels good to get back into it. And Sturm definitely helped you quite a bit. I just, it just feels really good. Like it's, it's hard to, express just how consistent it feels the high handling makes it makes it weapon swaps not too cumbersome the range means that you're not really too concerned about you know being outside of uh your effective range and it has just enough stability to really be manageable while not you know being the monster that something like igneous hammer is where you can get like 60 or 70 stability so it's super great i really love it i'm really uh enjoying it and how it kind of helps me be playing with a little bit of training wheels here. Uh, I think the next video I might do is probably on the Thorn. Uh, it's super meta this season, or so I've heard. I've only played a few matches with it, only you know five or six really early on in the season. But with its catalyst, it's insane. Uh, I see multiple of them every match, but 
uh, for now, 120s are forgiving enough and with large enough training wheels that I think I'm going to continue to use this as I slowly get better with my movement and with my recoil control. Hope you guys enjoyed. If there is anything in specific you're looking for, let me know. And I hope you guys have a good 2024.